So what is your strategy to run a competitive campaign for school board? And will you commit to rejecting donations and support from privatization linked organizations such as Go Public Schools and the California Charter School Association? Thank you for the question. First of all, the strategy will be we're rushing. The first issue that we're facing today is that we're rushing to the decisions right now because of fear factor. We've been facing budget shortfalls as long as I can remember. And every single time and every single place I've seen leadership go has always been austerity in budget cuts and school closures. For the last 20 years, we've seen that. And so far, it hasn't worked. And if I remember correctly from recent studies that I've read, whether the World Trade Organization, the Inter-American Development Bank, the International Monetary Fund, all of them have proven that austerity doesn't work. Austerity has never worked and it doesn't invest in where the money needs to go in order to revamp, strengthen, and provide the generation that we need in any body that needs to be financially stable. And so at this point, I would like to reach, take a step back and actually reevaluate where we are at in the numbers, where are we at in budgets, and more, and more importantly, where we need to be and what steps we need to take in order to get there before, I make, before any hasty decisions are made or before even school closures are considered or before we even start considering even layoffs. We first need to reevaluate and look at where we're at financially because from what I've heard, from what I've seen being on the um, Citizens Oversight Committee for AB and J fund, funds, the numbers have been changing. And so for that, I think we need to really step back and reevaluate where we need to go. Um, as far as getting donations from privatization of schools, I will be against it. I think one of the biggest issues is that we've been providing too many charter schools when we should be strengthening our public schools to begin with. Thank you. Thank you. So the question is, what is your strategy to run a competitive campaign for school board? And will you commit to rejecting donations and support from privatization linked organizations such as Go Public Schools and the California Charter School Association? You know, I met with, um, with I believe the executive director of Go Public Schools. And um, my strategy is that I want to advocate for children with learning disorders and children who are not graduating within four to five years from the Oakland Unified School District. Because I believe that when a child fails and gets a D or an F, you know, it's important to realize what's going on. The child has not failed us. We have failed that child. So we need to get to the bottom of this. When talking to the Go Public Schools, they are cognizant and aware that charter schools are not providing the support services that children with special needs need. So it would not, it would not be proper for me to take money from individuals that are not providing services from some, for someone like me and for someone like my three children. So for me, yeah, at the moment, I'm gonna pause uh, with support from Go Public Schools and California Charter School Association until I feel that they are committing themselves towards helping children with learning disabilities. From the meantime, from that interview, uh, I didn't feel that they were moving forward with that. And I think they, they need to, you, because what future will we see in the charter school if my children don't have that choice? You know, and many of my friends who had already been in the wait list for charter schools, and once they told them, well, my children is in the spectrum, and they're like, well, we cannot provide that support here. So then, you know, that's not a choice. So I know that charter school is pro-choice, but when there is a choice, everybody has to be a part of it. And so far, I feel that my children and are discriminated against that choice. So at the moment, yes, I do uh, commit for not accepting funds from the Go Public Schools and the California Charter School Association until they are willing to step up and, uh, and provide more support for children with special learning uh, abilities. Thank you. So the next. Okay. So the next question is, um, what is your strategy to run a competitive campaign for school board? And will you commit to rejecting donations and support from privatization linked organizations such as Go Public Schools and the California Charter School Association? 
Um, yes. Okay. Number one, my strategy is I, I feel like I am a master educator. I've been doing this for about 30, well, 40 years now. So I, I understand how children learn. Um, I understand the environment that they need to be in in order to learn positively. Um, and so I, a lot of my concentration will be on, on curriculum, curriculum access and equity. Um, I am not looking for any big organizations to actually provide financial assistance to my campaign because I don't want anyone to feel as if I owe them anything because I'm not running for the board to sit on the board as one who would actually have to owe somebody something I am really for the children right now. Um, I've, and I say this quite often, I've done my part. I mean, in terms of learning. Now it's time for me to give back to kids and help them learn. Um, I don't wanna be handcuffed by any organization that would donate to my campaign just to make me have to give back to them because I'm, a, I'm above that right now. I really am, and I'm, I'm actually looking at what I can do to help kids.